Hey everybody, this is Jaffe. I am back again. We are going to go over really quick how to create a form. We're going to do HTML and CSS and, and, and style the form. And then in the next screencast, we're actually going to put some PHP scripting in it. Make it dynamic to do what you want. This is just going to be a simple contact form. So uh, let's get started in the title. I'm actually going to put uh, contact form. And again, this is, I'm working in Dreamweaver, but uh, feel free to do it. Any, any code editor that you choose is fine. Um, it, it doesn't matter because we're actually coding coding, so uh, you don't need all the special things that Dreamweaver does. So you, can, you could actually just do this in regular old notepad if you wanted to. So getting started, let's, uh, let's give a container for our form, um, and we're going to call that the form wrap. and give us some space there and let's create the form tag and again some space and in the form tag we are going to start with a field set so a field set basically groups things together um, and you'll see how that works here in, in just a minute uh, in fact let me go ahead and close that contact form so we can start from scratch um, first thing we want to do is put a title in here so we'll give it an h4 tag and we're going to say contact contact us or contact me how about contact me and let's let's get going so let's create our first label so uh, I'm going to give this label its own class uh, which you'll see later just so we can target it directly um, but for, for right now that's basically you'll we'll, we'll see what that's going to do here later on sorry um, and this is going to be for the label is going to be for the name and we're going to show what that label is going to be so it's going to be name and we'll close out that label and then we're going to put an input field this is where you're actually going to be able to type in your name so we're going to name it name and we need <coughs> a label for we need the label for the email so we will call it email and then we need to put the input field in here so the name of the input field is email and then let's see we'll just put one more in here we'll put a comment uh, field in here so we're gonna be a uh, label for comments and we'll type it in there oops comments and we need a text area for people to write in so text area name is gonna be comments and we're doing this so that we can target these later on when we start scripting with PHP so text area name is comments and we're going to close that out <coughs> and let's see so now we just need to put some buttons in here to make things happen so uh, we're going to create a new field set boy I can't type today new field set and we're going to give the these inputs, these are, these um, are what makes uh, you know what makes them buttons. So we're going to give them a class of BTN and a type. This one is going to be our submit button, and the value of that. This is what it's going to uh, going to actually say on the button. So we're going to say send email. And let's see one more. We'll give it a uh, class of e uh, e of button again. Uh, the reason for this is because we're going to target this later in CSS, so we want to be able to style these how we want them. And this is going to be a reset button. Okay. Um, when you say submit reset, uh, HTML knows knows what you want when you when you say that. So uh, we're going to call it reset form. and let's close out that field set 
And that's it. So what we have now is this. Doesn't look like much, but we've got our send email, our reset form, contact me, everything we need here. And it, you can see here I could put blah, blah, block, block, and it's going to come off block, block. So that's what you're typing here. <clears throat> All right. Sorry, my phone was ringing there. Okay. Well, let's get to styling this now. Instead of using a separate style sheet, um, I'm just going to put the styling inside the HTML file. So we do that by just creating a style. Now, since we're uh, um, since we are in HTML5, I don't need to put a type. I could just put style in here. But uh, what usually you have to do is put type equals text whoops text slash CSS doesn't hurt to put it in there but in HTML5 you don't have to it's not require, uh, <coughs> required so uh, all right let's see here let's grab the background this is uh, everything in the background first so um, we're just gonna give this a background color of like a dark gray so 999 will work and that should give our everything that's HTML that gray background color. Give myself a little bit of room here. Next thing, let's let's target that form wrap, and we're going to give it some uh, some styling here. So let's give it a width of say 600 pixels. Um, let's give it a border, like a five pixel border, and let's make it solid. And let's give it a lighter gray color. <coughs> And let's see. Um, we would like to have a, a background color for it, so let's give it a background color. And that background color, let's see. Um, let's go for a nice blue here. And yeah. Let's see what that looks like. That's nice. <clears throat> All right. And let's get that centered. Obviously, we don't want it over on the left here. So we'll give it a 50 pixel margin from top and bottom and uh, automatic left and right. So that should center us in our browser. Uh, my recording is a bit off there, so you're not going to see it. But let me move my browser over here. So you'll see that it's centered in the browser. <clears throat> and what's next? Let's give it a little bit of padding so that our text and stuff is going to be moving down from the top and bottom so um, let's do about 20 pixels top and bottom zero left and right padding and <clears throat> there we go now our field sets a little bit padded in what next let's grab the form that's the next thing in line so we just kinda if we just kinda go down down as we go um, I'll get that in a minute <clears throat> form yeah so form so let's go back down to the form here. Uh, and the form, <coughs> excuse me, let's give the actual form its own width. It's going to be a little bit smaller than the than the wrapper so that it's kind of inside inside of there. And let's center it in the wrapper as well. So zero, auto, that's going to center it within our wrapper. So everything is now centered, you'll see. Let's target, <coughs> let's target the labels here. The labels now, as you can see right now, everything is is inline because that's what labels do. They default to to inline status. So <clears throat> we want them to be uh, in a block level, one on top of each other here. So all we need to do is put display block, and you'll see they'll automatically go boop right on top of each other. And let's move them out from the left hand side a bit so we'll give it zero pixels on the top uh, zero pixels on the right zero pixels on the bottom and let's say 20 pixels on the left <clears throat> you'll see that scoots the name and stuff over there like that and those are all the labels and <clears throat> let's see here Let me give them a little bit of margin actually on the top and bottom. That they just separate things a little bit better here. There we go. 
<clears throat> space things out. Sorry about that. And for a font, we'll do our shortcut here. We'll give it 18 pixels and just do a sans serif. Don't don't need to th do anything fancy. <clears throat> and a color, let's give it uh, like a grayish color. Okay, what's next? Let's grab these inputs, these input fields. And let's give them a width of, say, 250 pixels. That opens them up a little bit, gives people space to write in them. And we want to we wanna match that margin from the left. <clears throat> so 0, 0, 0, and then 20 pixels on the left. And that moves them over. Now, this is not an input field. This is actually a text area. <clears throat> so we need to style it separately. So we'll go down here and again give myself a little bit of room. Text area. So we're grabbing the text area and we'll give it the same width as everything else 250 pixels and a margin of the same 0, 0, 0, whoops, 0, 0, 20 pixels. And there it is. So. <clears throat> Anyway, moving on. So let's grab these field sets. Let's do a little bit of a uh, little targeting of them. So these field sets, we'll target that. And open and close. And let's let's give them a border of none. So you see how these field sets, these, these come automatically with a border. So if we give them a border of none, it's going to get rid of that. Um, but we are going to give it a background color. And I really like this color, F6. So we're going to style it with that. And we're going to give it a little bit of padding as well. So 0 on the top, 0 on the right, 20 pixels on the bottom, and then 0 <coughs> on the left. And you'll see that that'll give us that nice color, push things a little bit away from each other. So that is that. Now, let's target this class of label one right here. So we are going to put a period that targets the class label one. And a couple things we're going to do, actually just one thing we're going to do here, we're just going to give it a margin on the top. So by calling out margin top, that means that's the only thing that we can affect. And I'm just going to put 10 pixels in there and let's see. Yeah, should be no change. So that's good. <clears throat> a little bit more room here. And let's see. Uh, let's grab those buttons. So the class of BTN that we created earlier. Um, let's, let's give these buttons some pictures. So um, we don't need them as wide as everything else. So let's just give them a width of 125 pixels. Let's see here. There we go. And what is next? Um, oh, the H4 tag. Let's grab that. So um, I'm going to grab the H4 tag that's in the form. Um, that way, if there's other H4 tags on the page, I'm I'm only grabbing any H4 tags in the form itself. So let's give it some uh, margin. Let's uh, push it down from the top a bit. Uh, none on the right, none on the bottom, but uh, let's go 30 pixels from the left. Let's give it a font. Um, 24 pixels would be good. Make it a little bit bigger and then just a sans serif. <clears throat> Don't need anything fancy there. For a color, let's do this kind of medium dark gray CD, CD, CD. And a font weight. Let's make this thing bold. And let's see how that works. It works. Well, I think that about wraps it up for everything. So uh, in this, we've gone over really quick. Uh, we've gone f to how to create a simple contact form, a contact form, not a contact form, uh, and style it. Now, of course, you can always put this in a separate separate style sheet, um, or you know, just to <coughs> keep the keep the size of your files down. But for something this simple, that's not a big deal. So what we're going to go over next is how to actually script this to make it a functioning contact form. And we'll see you on the next uh, go-round.